Here's the Abbott Executive desk set, probably from the early 1960s. AM radio, clock with alarm, perpetual calendar, speaker, little wood grain here, tuning for the AM only radio, volume, uh, manual if you're going to use the radio by itself, automatic if you want the alarm to turn on. The alarm does not turn on to the radio, it only makes an alarm sound. Early 1960s is probably indicated by the two Connell Rad markers you see on the tuning dial there uh, for the emergency civil defense requirements at the time. It's mostly chrome. We have a pen here that swivels around and it works. We have a sort of a storage area down here for things. Got more wood grain around the sides and the back. Put the pen out here for a minute. And underneath we have, you can see the clock. Now the clock itself runs on the 9 volt battery, but if the alarm functions are separate, you need to wind this if you're going to have the alarm go, and every time the alarm goes, you have to rewind this. And this sets the time and the alarm. You turn the alarm on or off with this little switch here. And if your clock's running fast or slow, you can adjust it there. I'm going to try the alarm, so let me, uh, let me get my fingers in here and wind this. So that when we do set the alarm, it will work. And we have it set to alarm, as you can see. Oops, and my little thing unscrewed there. There we go. Put that back in. And the clock is very nice, has a very fine styling, um, very precise. The little white dots you see at the end of the numbers, I thought maybe those are supposed to light up for a minute when the lights are off, but they do not. And we have our alarm hand and our main dials. Here we have our perpetual calendar. Move this one to set your months. This one sets the first part of the days if you need it. Second set of the days and your day of the week. So it's pretty easy. Well, let's look inside for a minute and see what the uh, workings look like. All right, looking inside, we have the back of our clock and calendar. We have our speaker, 0.2 watts, 8 ohms. Our radio board, which is closest to us, and the audio board above it, it looks like. Tuning capacitor. It's hard to see in this light, but it looks like it might say Sansui. Sansui Electric something. Our small antenna. What do I count there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven transistors, maybe? And a schematic. It's always nice to include those, I suppose. So it's pretty clean in here. I had to do some dusting, as you can imagine, from what's probably an early 60s unit. But not bad altogether. Okay, I'm going to put it on automatic. 
and then we'll try and take the pen out again. We'll try and hear if we can see what the alarm sounds like. That'll wake you up. Now I would have to go back in and rewind that alarm if I want it to go off the next time. It, it unwinds as it alarms. You have a little storing, storing space down there. You can put your little stationaries there or your so maybe some office supplies like paper clips and in the case of this unit, I would maybe put an extra 9-volt battery in there for safety's sake. And now we'll put it on manual. Put my pan back in here. I'm trying to prop it up on the little thing here so we can get a better video angle. AM only, so not much going on. And our service part of Shelba says, you know, we're keeping Jim Bull. The pilot never told you about plans to turn into Sandry. another version of this that had an AM FM radio later on quite a few years later I'm not sure exactly how many might be nice to have one of those and compare them but as it is this is the Abbott executive AM radio with clock and alarm pin let's see I do believe that pen works Okay, early 1960s, nice looking unit, I could see it on somebody's desk back in the day, an AM FM radio, maybe even today. Well, hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, bye.